Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. I have a fun track for today. We're going to learn how to play Octopus's Garden by the Beatles off of the Abbey Road album. Uh, and you really just can't help but to smile while you're playing this track. I think that's why, why Ringo created it in the first place, just to make us all happy. All right, so there's some good guitar lines in this thing, um, and they're really fun to play. So I'm going to take you through all of them um, and show you how to play the track note for note. All right, so before I do that, Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell so you know I release a video. And please check out my Guitar Academy. It's guitarlessons365.com. It's got all my courses covered in improvisation, uh, ear training, theory, technique, guitar tone, lots of cool stuff there. I go live with the Academy members uh, for live chats with me every weekend, so uh, it's a lot of fun. So come and join us, please. All right, so let's get into this. I'm going to start here on the neck pickup. I know these look like humbucking pickups, but I have a coil cut installed. So I just push this button and it becomes a single coil guitar again. Yay. So that's what I'm using here with a neck pickup here. So George Harrison put some tasty licks into this thing. So this very uh, identifiable intro here. So we had this. So that's going to be hammering uh, nine, uh, 9 to 11 on the D string. Then you can play, do a hammer 9 to 11 on the G string and slide up to a 13. Then we're at the 12th fret here on the B string. So slide up to 14, slide back down to 12. Then you're going to slide back down 13 to 11 on the G, then play 9, 11 on the G, and then end it with a bend of the 11. If you're, this intro um, and the little lick at the very end of the song and any of the, the fills that are happening during the verse sections, um, it's just going to be playing an E major pentatonic. So uh, when I get into the song and going through the verse sections, Later on the track, you'll hear a lot of some guitar fills here or there. I'm not going to actually cover every single one of those. If you want to just kind of do your own thing there, it's just play E major pentatonic. And then when we go to the solo, the solo is actually an A major pentatonic. So let's uh, just kind of preface that. So we have this so far. Slower. And then we kind of start the same way for the second time through. So it's kind of hammering 9 to 11 on the D and the G, and sliding up to 13. But then we're going to jump up to the uh, 12th fret on the high E string, and then pull off 14 to 12 on the B. So we have this. So again, then you're going to do that slide from 13 down to 11 again, and pull off to 9. And then here we start playing some double stops. So that's the 9 on the G and the B. And then slide into the 10th fret on the B and the 11th fret on the G. And then same thing, up two more frets. That's 12 on the B, 13 on the G. So we have this. And then we're going to finish out the solo with this. So we're going to finish it out like that. So after you get that double stop here, you're going to play 14 on the uh, B string. Then that slide from uh, 13 down to 11 again on the G. And play the 9 a couple times. And then we have this. And that's it. Pulling off 11 to 9 on the G. Then pull off 11 to 9 on the D. There's a quick slide from 11 down to 9 on the A. Then down to the 7th fret there. Uh, a few times you're going to hit it on the A string. Then 9 on the uh, A string again. And then end it with 
the seventh fret on the low E string. So this second time through, well, from the double stops. So the whole intro, a little bit slower. All right, so now for this uh, verse section, we're going to be doing the same kind of picking pattern on all the chords. And the chords are all going to use really the top four strings here, so the D, th D string through the high E string. So we have, for this first E major chord, we're going to have the open high E, open B, first fret on the G, and second fret on the D. So we have those, and we're going to pick across that with this pattern. So that's going to be high E string first, then the D, G. So we got that kind of feel about it though. So you had to kind of pause in on the B string. So I just did the pattern twice there. And then we take it to this next chord, which is a, a C sharp minor chord. So all you need here is fourth fret on the high E, 5th fret on the B, 6th on the G, and 6th on the D. Same picking pattern. So we have. Then we're going to take it up to an A major chord by playing the 5th fret on the B and the high E string, so you're going to borrow that. And then 6th fret on the G, 7th on the D. So just same picking pattern done twice there as well. And end it by just taking that chord shape up two frets to make it a B major chord. And the same picking pattern done twice. So the picking pattern is done twice on the, each one of those chords during the verse. So we have this. have the pre-chorus, uh, which there's some guitar layers. It sounds like there's a guitar going, which it kind of sounds like there's like it's a hammer from 16 to 18, kind of repeated there. A little layer if you really want to play something like that. But the chords are here. So that's just uh, a C sharp minor chord up here at the ninth position. So ninth fret here, full bar, and then you can play 11 on the A and 11 on the D. And then hit that again, and then go down to this B major. So take the same shape down two frets, but also add the eighth fret here on the G string. And then take that B major down two frets to the A. And then you get to end it by going back up to the B. All right, and then we get to the chorus. Now the chorus is pretty much the same thing as the verse, same chord progression, except the timing of the last two chords is different. Instead of picking, uh, doing that uh, picking pattern twice on each one of those chords like we did in the verse, we're just going to do it once. So it'll sound like this. All right, so you might have heard that a little bit. Now, they actually play the chorus course there just just one time through so I kind of repeated it twice there so it starts with the same E major with that picking pattern done twice then the C sharp minor with the picking pattern twice then when we get to the A major just play the picking pattern once and then go straight to the B and the 
picking pattern done once there. And then there's a, so basically it goes, takes it back down to the E chord to end the, the, the chorus. And we do that picking pattern basically twice. Except the second time, so you basically do the picking pattern once actually. And then we have a little variation. So that's, so after you do the picking pattern once on that E, then we play the high E, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hammer open G to the first fret, and then play open B and hammer the second fret. So we have this kind of like after this. All right, now then it, from there, it just goes straight back um, to the verse again. Back to the same pre-chorus, back to the same chorus. Um, but this chorus at the end here, the second time you play the chorus, when we go, where we originally had that lick, where we had that lick there before, he doesn't do it at the end of the second chorus. Uh, instead, they do the picking pattern once again. And then we're gonna do the picking pattern again, but we're gonna to change to an E dominant seven chord by playing, adding the third fret there on the B string. And you really don't, might not even be the same pattern, so you can just kinda, of, kinda of just kinda, of, you can just if you wanna strum it there. But you really wanna hear that. from the E7. Now they play an E7 there because they want to take us to the solo, which is in A. So that resolves an E7 is the five chord for the key of A. So, you, so now it sounds like it sounds good. It's a good transition to get to the key of A major, which is what the solo is in. So underneath the solo there we have these chords. So that ending there took us back to the key of E major with that B7 chord. All right, so the chords are um, just, you're gonna hold in four beats for each chord at the beginning, the first half of the, the solo. So it's just A major to an F sharp minor chord. So that's just gonna be a full bar at the uh, second fret, and then you're gonna play the fourth fret on the A and the D. So I'm just gonna each beat. Then to a standard D major, one, four beats. And then a standard E major for four beats. So we have this so far, A. sharp on four beats but now when we get to the D and the E we're gonna play them just two beats each D, E, two, and then you're gonna end it with two more chords uh, the A major chord played uh, with two beats and then that B dominant seven chord So it's just probably the best way to play it. Bar at the second fret. And you're gonna play the fourth fret on the D and fourth fret on the B. So you have that third fret there on the G, and the second fret there being played in the bar of the G. That's what makes it a dominant seven chord. So we have this. So the second half of the uh, progression underneath the solo is A, four beats, F sharp minor, four beats. A D, two beats of E, two beats of A, two beats of B7. And then that takes us. Takes... All 
All right, so now um, for the uh, solo itself, I'll play through that real quick for you, and then uh, I'll show you how to play it phrase by phrase. So um, we're going to start here with a slide on the into the 13th fret on the G. Remember, this solo is now an A major pentatonic, uh, is what you're going to scale you're going to be using. So uh, you're going to slide into the uh, uh, sorry 13th fret on the G string, 12th fret on the B. All right. Not all, not all the notes are going to fit exactly within A major, but the, all the major licks and stuff are like uh, that. Not necessarily is, but that's just A major. So we have 16th fret there, bend at the on the G string. And then to grab 14 on the high E. Then pick that 16 again and release it, the bend down to 14th fret there. So wait this. Then we have this. So that's kind of sliding into the 18th fret of the G string, and then playing 17 a couple times on the, um, a few times on the B string, and then sliding back down. So you do that like three times. And then we have this. So that's a bend at the 19th fret on the high string. Release. And then play 17 a couple times and do that again. And then move it over to the 17 on the B. So so we have this. Seventeen, a couple times on the B, and then you're gonna bend that and release down to the fourteenth fret there on the G's. From there, we have this. So that's a lot of the same thing, except we're gonna just start. Can I go into this this bend first? So we're gonna quick slide up to the sixteenth fret on the uh, D string. Over 14 on the G, and then like we did before, bend to the 16, and, and then you know kind of grab the high E string, high E string, 14 fret in, and then 16, 14 on the the G set. So same as before, and then that part is the same as before as well, and then we're gonna end it though with this. So that's the actual end of the main solo. I did add an overdub there. That happens with a different guitar on the track, but sounds okay just to kind of do it as the part of the main solo. So we have uh, just three bends at the 19th fret on the high E string. Down to 17, and then play 19, 17 again. And if you want to do that bend, that's actually not part of the main solo, but you hear that on that little, when it does the transition over that B7 chord. Um, and that is going to be uh, bend at the 16th fret on the G string, whole set, bend and release. And then we're back to the verse again. Same verse, um, and then same pre-chorus. And then we get to the last chorus, which is slightly different uh, than the earlier choruses. It looks more like this. So, so what's going on there? It's just that same thing as the previous verse, I mean, chorus. That E with a picking pattern done twice, and then the C sharp minor with a picking pattern done twice. 
And then we go to that A major picking pattern done once, B major picking pattern done once, but instead of going back to E here, it just goes to the C sharp minor with a picking pattern twice. So we, we do this a couple of times where we're just playing the C sharp minor. So the A, the B, and then back to the C sharp minor. So it's a little bit different instead of going back to the E. It's just a little three chord repeated sequence there. So that's whenever you're playing the C sharp minor there. So you start the song, start the last chorus with the same way. It's with the E major. And then the same C sharp minor twice. A once, B once, and then the minor twice. A, B, minor again twice. Then we have this little last lick that sounds like this. So, and uh, just there's something a little chord is, that happens underneath that as well. So those chords that happen underneath that lick are just a B major to an E major. I'm just doing that bar, just the same chords we've done before, but um, uh, we're just going to be playing. Right, we'll play the full bar, B, B major at the seventh fret, full bar. 9 on the A, 9 on the D, 8 on the G, and then end with a E major chord, which is open E, 7th on the A, and then you're going to borrow across the D, at the ninth fret across the D, G, and the B. So that's going to be it. So, so that's going to, the, the timing of those chords will be if you want to play those chords. So anyway, uh, Kind of a uh, quick little bend and release to the 14th fret. We're back in E major pentatonic. Half step bend and release. Pull off to 12. 14. Pull off 14 to 12 on the uh, B string. And then do the slide uh, 13 to 11. And then a little kind of a slow trill between 9 and 11. And then you're just going to end it with the 11th fret bend on a G. Or. All right. So great track. Got some really cool licks in it. Um, you know, and it kind of makes you happy, right? So that's all that matters. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.